Hi, it's John here, and I have three of my hair tests from the last few years. I'm going to explain uh, copper toxicity. I'm just going to zoom in to uh, the year was 2010, and basically my copper level, although it seems quite low, um, I actually had hidden copper. The hair, the hair test result wasn't showing a true, a true level, um, and the following, actually, this was a couple of years later. There's my copper level there. It's gone up from 1.1 to 3.4. It's this is the ideal range, and obviously it's above that. Um, but after starting, well, changing a lot of things, diet, lifestyle. Um, Copper levels have come up, and that's common. They'll peak, and they'll come back down. And the following test, about six months later, it has actually peaked, and it's on the way down. So there's an eye for improvement, and um, I should be by now well within the in, in the ideal range. And it's quite common for um, actually once copper has normalized um, other other heavy metals for instance mercury will start to come out it, it almost has its turn um, you see uh, mercury is dumping and and also lead arsenic and aluminium are starting to come up so that's a good thing I a higher level uh, is good because that means it's been excreted out of the body. So I hope that helps and uh, below I've written how you can lower your copper levels. Um, thank you.